Who would win in a smoke off between Jay and Silent Bob? Toe Jam and Earl. We win. Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted, we win. They're teenagers. Beavis and Butthead. They're children. We win. Scooby Doo and Shag. Shaggy's not even a true stoner. He just talks the talk. He don't walk the walk. Cheech and Chong. They beat us. Who's the best Batman villain? I'm gonna say Man Bat on appearance alone. If you're gonna open up a comic book, do you wanna see a chubby man in a tux or a giant bat flying around? Who's the worst Batman villain? Some might wanna say Condiment King, but you know, if you get mustard in your eye, you are effed. Val Kilmer or Ben Affleck? Affleck. Like in that one scene in Batman v Superman, he functions the way you've always wanted to see Batman function. He takes out like eight people. Val's Batman didn't get to be that cool on film. Adam West or Michael Keaton? I love Michael Keaton because he was the guy that like in 1989 made us believe that, oh my lord, they're gonna get it right. I remember when they cast him, there was no internet and it broke the internet. Who's the best Spider-Man on the big screen? Hands down, I don't even have to think, Tom Holland. Who's the most reckless billionaire superhero? Bruce Wayne more reckless with his own personal safety. Tony Stark more reckless with the world. Who's the bigger ladies man? I say Tony Stark. Tony Stark is all charming. He doesn't even have to hide who he is. Bruce Wayne plays the ladies man, but inside he's brooding. My parents are still dead. What would Batman be like if he were high? Super smart. What about Tony Stark? Tony Stark, I assume, is blazed at all times. The power sword from He-Man or the sword of Omen from Thundercats? Oh, the power sword from He-Man. It can transform a very muscular man into a very muscular man with fewer clothes on. Much more powerful. Who would win in a fight between lion and He-Man? Uh, I think He-Man beats lion in a heartbeat. He-Man is just, he's a dude. lion is like, am I man or beast? Man or beast? I don't know. He's a tortured soul. He doesn't know if he's a human or a lion -o. If Jay and Silent Bob were He-Man characters, who would they be? I think Jay could be Buzz Off. I think Silent Bob would definitely, since he hangs out with Jay all the time, be Fisto. If you could reboot any DC comic franchise, what would it be? I, I would do the question. If you were committing a crime, and you turned around, and there was somebody there with no face whatsoever, that's some sh** out of a Blumhouse movie. If you could reboot any Marvel comic franchise, what would it be? There's a character from years ago, late 80s, early 90s, a character named Fool Killer. Um, his job is just to go kill fools. You know, I think that concept could work in 2019. Is Drake part of the View Askew universe? Wow, what a great question. Is Drake part of the View Askew universe? No, but Jimmy from Degrassi and all of Degrassi is indeed part of the View Askew universe. Which of your films did you have the most fun writing? The writing is always fun to me. Honestly, there hasn't been a single script that wasn't fun writing, but the reboot script being the most recent, it was my go-to activity for the better part of three years. If I was ever like lonely, or if I ever had free time, or if I ever felt bad or something like that, I would just disappear back into that script, do another draft. And when we finished the movie, I was so sad. I was like, oh, I don't have that to, to go to anymore. It's been my like security blanket for three years. Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Jason Mewes. We have added a bunch of brand new dates for the Jay and Silent Bob Reboot Roadshow Tour, man. Check it out at RebootRoadshow.com.